have all that diagram. Hopefully you know what it means. Uh, the charge in here is the same as charge here, and the charge on the outside will be uh, determined by this electric field. And then we can kind of ignore this middle because we know it's going to be the same but opposite of this. So we're really only focusing on two things right now. A, pretend like this charge on this inner sphere is like a point charge, and then use this electric field to calculate it. And B, after we're done with that, just use the charge on the outside as a point charge and calculate that based on the electric field there. Okay? So then we can get in space. Um, flux is equal to Ea, uh, which is equal to Q over E0. Right? So we're looking for the amount of charge. So Q is going to equal Ea E0. Questions on that? And you'll notice that most of these problems, they're, you're not actually having to do any surface integrals. It's just, honestly, it just comes out to be this. And if you were taking the B test when you talk about Gauss's law, really, this is just what you talk about. Ea equals Q over E0. So nine times out of ten when you use Gauss's law, it's just that. Um, but uh, from this, we can now say, okay, well, what, what's the, the electric field we're given, right? And then A, you just calculate. There's two A's. The A of the center sphere is, um, what, they're 4 pi, and then the radius, the radius is what? Well, I'm sorry, this, the radius, that's actually a good point. Have the power. Does, does give a hoot about the size of this inner sphere. What, what, is the, what value can the inner sphere's diam, uh, sorry, radius not be? And it can be anything except what? That exact. Okay, do you see? Uh, this is the uh, 8 centimeters. Why did we choose 8 centimeters? Well, I'm thinking because this area relates to that electric field. Okay, and so then you can calculate this charge. And likewise, you're going to use the same logic to calculate the other charge. And remember that the total charge... The total charge on the sphere is going to equal the charge on the center plus the charge on the inside plus the charge on the outside or the external surface. Does that make sense? This is going to cancel out with that because they're opposite. They're equal in magnitude, opposite in value, or whatever, sign. So this allows me to say, I can just say QE is going to be the same thing. E, A, times E, zero. E is again 15,000 newtons per coulomb, and this time, A is 4 pi times 0.17 squared.